So we just saw what we need when we have single variable interventions. And now we'll move on to when we are allowed to intervene on multiple variables at once. So we saw that when we only intervene on one variable at a time, then we need n minus 1 interventions in the worst case, and n minus 1 interventions are sufficient to identify the causal graph. That's what we just saw in the last section. And what if we could intervene on more than one variable at once? So that where we have no restrictions on the number of nodes per intervention. So one intervention specifies a set of variables to intervene on, then another intervention specifies another set of intervariables to intervene on. Right, so it's a sort of sequence of sets of interventions. In that case, the floor of log base 2 of n plus 1 interventions are sufficient. Right, so we roughly only need the logarithm of the number of variables to identify the causal graph. And this is necessary in the worst case as well, where the worst case here is the complete graph. You can see this other paper from Eberhardt et al. 2005 to learn more about this. And this is the number of interventions we need in the worst case, where the worst case is the complete graph. But it seems like we won't often be in the case where we have a complete graph. So what about when we have graphs that are not complete? Right, so just from looking at the observational data, then we can identify this Markov equivalence class, right, this essential graph, where we've identified the skeleton of the graph and the immoralities of the graph. What if we're given that essential graph and we see that it's not complete, it's not a complete graph, so we're not in that worst case where this floor of log base 2 of n plus 1 result applies, then maybe we can do better than that result. So how many interventions are necessary then when we know the essential graph, given that in any intervention we can intervene on as many nodes as we like? The answer is that it depends on the largest clique in the graph. So a clique is just the largest set of nodes in the graph where there is an edge between every pair of nodes. So in a complete graph, the largest clique is the number of variables. It's the whole graph is the largest clique. But in a non-complete graph, the largest clique will be smaller than the total number of nodes. And it turns out that the largest clique is important. So let's say the largest clique is of size C. Then we have this theorem that you need log base 2 of C, and then round that up, so the ceiling of log base 2 of C, multi-node interventions to identify the graph. So that's enough interventions to be sufficient, and it's also necessary in the worst case, where the worst case here is when we know the Markov equivalence class, we know the essential graph, then we can identify the graph with that smaller number of multi-node interventions. Okay, so we've gone down from a number of interventions that are logarithmic in the total number of nodes in the graph to a number of interventions that are logarithmic in the size of the largest clique in the graph. And this result was first conjectured by Eberhardt in 2008, and then it was proven by Hauser and Bullman in 2014. So that's the number of interventions that we can expect to identify a causal graph for us and that we need to identify a causal graph for us. When we're allowed to intervene on multiple nodes at a time per intervention. So we can do multi-node interventions. And that brings us to the end of the multi-node intervention section and to this question, which is about this graph on the right here. In this graph, how many multi-node interventions are sufficient and necessary given that you know the essential graph of this graph?